वेलकम टू रमज़ान बयालोजी लेक्चर्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड आल्सो प्रेस दी बिल आइकन टू रिसीव अपडेट्स ऑफ माय लेक्चर अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम बैक टू रमज़ान बयालोजी स्टूडेंट टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज अबाउट द इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट चेन we have been talking about the cellular respiration in which we in the previous lecture we studied about the aerobic respiration steps the glycolysis and the krebs cycle and this is the third step of the aerobic respiration inside the eukaryotic cells so first of all i please uh, kindly request you that you will be greatly understand on the electron transport chain but before that you should to completely watch my previous lecture of glycolysis and krebs cycle because these are a uh, stepwise aerobic respiration so let's start first of all electron transport chain is a transport of electron in inner mitochondrial membrane through the cluster of protein in the release atp a source of energy it means the electron transport chain is the flow of electron the motion of electron in inner mitochondrial membrane suppose if this is the mitochondria suppose this is the outer membrane of mitochondria and this is the outer this is the inner membrane of the mitochondria so this electron transport chain actually occur in this uh, inner membrane here this point this is the side part of the electron transport chain and during this time there are a cluster of protein present inside this inner membrane in which the electron jump from one protein to another and release atp as a source of energy okay and today we talk about so today electron transport chain 32 atp is really a source of energy and we uh, mention that in aerobic respiration 2 36 atp uh, energy is released so as we in the previous lecture we said that in, during the glycolysis 2 atp is released during the krebs cycle 2 atp is released so the remaining 32 is released during the electron transport chain and electron transport chain is the main site for the aerobic respiration energy release okay and we also mentioned there there are some energy uh, other currency which have power for the energy storing and these energy uh, stored short power are released during the glycolysis in the krebs cycle and these are then used in the electron transport chain in order to release more atp okay so we said that during the glycolysis 2 nadh is released and during the krebs cycle 8 nadh with the linked reaction if you remember and also 2 fadh 2 is also released as source of energy now these three have the uh, power for the energy storing and these will then used in the oxidative phosphorylation oxidative phosphorylation mean that during the electron transport chain the oxidation process occur and during this uh, due, uh, due to which atp is released you know it is also called as the electron transport chain okay now let's come to the molecules of electron transport chain that uh, in which what are the cluster of proteins that uh, in which the jumping of electron occur from one to another okay so there are four types of protein pleoprotein fmn pleomononucleotide it is a type of protein second one is iron sulfur protein iron sulfur protein the third one is ubiquinone and remember ubiquinone is not actually a protein it is a coenzyme we will study this later in the detail of this And the fourth one is this cytochrome. Cytochrome are a lot of types. Cytochrome A, B, C, and A3. These are the types of cytochrome A. Okay. And as you mentioned, these four types. These are a lot of proteins. Okay, because these are different types of protein are present. So therefore, it is very difficult to understand these. And during the electron transport chain, these are divided into complex. main uh, big complexes and main big complex of four so these four molecules of electron transport chain are divided into four complex now we will study about the main mechanism of electron transport chain so let's start now let's look at the mechanism of electron transport chain just how really electron transport chain occur inside the cell 
So really, as I mentioned, the electron transportation is the jumping of electron from one protein to another in order the motion of electron in the cluster through the cluster of protein. So let's start. First of all, as I mentioned, that uh, protein molecules of the electron transportation are divided into complexes. So there are four complexes: one, two, three, and four complex. Okay. Now inside the complex number one, there is a protein epimen, pleoprotein, pleomononucleotide, and there is another protein it is called P uh, sulfur, iron sulfur protein, and this is the ubiquinone. As I mentioned before, ubiquinone is not a protein, and actually, all the all the cluster are called the protein and the electron transport chain. But except this one, it is called ubiquinone is a coenzyme. It works as a coenzyme, and it is only for receiving the electron from the complex one, complex two, and only for the connector. It only works as a connector. Okay. Now inside the complex two, there is only one protein, iron sulfur. In the complex three, there are three type protein: cytochrome B, iron sulfur, and uh, cytochrome C1. And there is another protein. This is this contains cytochrome C. And actually, it is not part of the complex. It is not the part of complex, but it is only part connecting complex three with the complex four. And inside complex four, there is this cytochrome A and cytochrome A three. Now let's talk about the whole mechanism. First of all, as I mentioned, that during the uh, Krebs cycle and the glycolysis, the energy power are released. That is called NADH and APDH. Okay, APDH two. It's called APDH two. Now, during this time, the NADH. One uh, molecule of NADH enter into the complex number one, and NADH is reduced to NAD and release two electron. Okay, and plus hydrogen. So what occur that this uh, this mechanism hole occur inside the complex one. Okay, and then this uh, two these two electron are carried by the pleoprotein. Pleoprotein then. Uh, Give this electron to the iron sulfur, and iron sulfur then give this protein electron to the ubiquinone enzyme. Okay. Now about the FADH2. FADH2 is usually for the is usually uh, reduced to the FAD FAD plus two electron and two hydrogen. But actually, this phenomenon occur in the complex number two. It was the complex number one. A complex number two. So this electron enter into the complex number three. Um, complex number two, and these electron are carried by the iron sulfur a to the ubiquinone. So ubiquinone then uh, collect the electron from the complex number one also, and com complex number two also. And this then these electron combinedly move toward the complex number three. And furthermore, in the complex number three, there is no any addition of NAD. NFADH. Okay. Then it uh, gave this electron to the uh, cytochrome B, uh, iron sulfur, and cytochrome C1. Then eventually comes to the cytochrome C. Then cytochrome C gave this electron to the complex number four. Now the complex number four, cytochrome A, and then cytochrome uh, A3. Now the final accepted pair electron, cytochrome A3, then gave this electron to the oxygen. Now this is oxygen which we inhale, and we say for the oxygen, for the cell respiration, there is need of oxygen. And oxygen is the main living gas for the living animals. And what is the function of this oxygen in the aerobic uh, respiration? This is the for accepting electron from the complex number four, cytochrome A3. What occur? These two electrons are. Absorbed by the oxygen, gained by the oxygen. So what occur? Oxygen is reduced to like this form, that uh, oxygen gained two electron. Okay, oxygen gained two electron. So during this time, as I mentioned, there is also a re releasing of hydrogen occur. So then the oxygen also gained two hydrogen, and the charge of positive and negative are uh, suppose. Uh, Two positive is also absorbed by the oxygen. So what occur? Positive cancel negative. So what occur? Really, the oxygen become 
again uh, uh, again become n n by two charge. Okay. So during this time, two hydrogen are absorbed. So what occur? The two hydrogen are absorbed, and during this time, oh, one oxygen comes and combine with the hydrogen, and H two is formed. And this is the H two which is released during the cellular respiration. So this is, this is the main point we learned that this is the oxygen which accept the electron from the cytochrome A three, and this is the oxygen which we inhale during the inhalation process. And there the releasing of H two also occur. Okay, and as we mentioned in the photosynthesis, that really oxygen is released in the photosynthesis from the uh, splitting of H two molecule, and really this H two is again uh, is made synthesis by the oxygen in the cellular respiration in the electron transport chain. Now let's look at uh, hydrogen ion. What really occur with the hydrogen ion? So suppose this is the inside of the cell. Okay, this is the inside of the cell. This is the inside of the cell. Not really. I'm talking about the mitochondria. So if I draw here the mitochondria, so this is the outer membrane of mitochondria. In This is the uh, inner membrane. Okay. Now what I can really hear? That this is the inside. So this point, this is inside point. Okay. This is the inside. This is the outside. What really occur? That this process occur in the In the internal membrane of the mitochondria. So during this time, this hydrogen moves through the channel of the complex number one. Okay, there is a channel. There is something channel, and the channel are abundantly made of protein. So these hydrogen then move through this channel, and eventually comes out of the In internal matrix of the mitochondria, and eventually comes out toward the internal membrane space. Okay, so this hydrogen then comes out to the internal membrane space. Okay, and similarly, this hydrogen from here also moves through the channel of the complex number two, and eventually comes out to the uh, met uh, internal membrane of the mitochondria. Now what really occur? That the energy, the main energy, is released from this source. This source also releases energy from the jumping uh, complex number one, two, and then eventually comes to the oxygen side. But uh, really, energy, most of the energy is released in this process. The there is a full there is the there hydrogen is released. Okay, so if I mention here hydrogen, and there is also hydrogen. So there are a lot of hydrogen. Okay, same here are also. Okay, now what occur that this hydrogen do not have any passage to again enter inside the matrix of the mitochondria. So there is a passage, and this passage is the pumping margin. And you can see here this pumping. This pump is part of the pumping of these hydrogen back to the oh, matrix side of the mitochondria. So what occur these? Hydrogen will comes here, and eventually, you can see this is a pump-like structure. It is like a pen, pen, the ear pen, and it uh, then revolve its 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 panels, and then release energy from the hydrogen. So what we like are that there hydrogen comes. Okay, these hydrogen are then pumped by and uh, give a revolution motion. It's like the atom, uh, the electron revolves around the nucleus. So during this time, this pump also give a revolution to the hydrogen ions, and during this revolution, higher revolution, it releases its energy, and these energy are then gained in the form of ATP. These energy are then released in the form of ATP. So there, a lot of energy is released during this pumping motion of the. Pumping pound on the uh, on the membrane of the 
internal internal uh, internal membrane of the mitochondria okay so during this time energy main energy is released and only in one molecule of glucose 32 atp energy is released now let's come i have written some points here it says the that each complex have more affinity of electron than the previous one it means suppose this is a complex so from this complex this complex have more affinity to gain the electron in order to gain electron suppose this are uh, this uh, also give the electron to the ubiquinon and this also give electron to the ubiquinon during this time the complex number three have more affinity than the complex number one come number two and even three this also have more affinity this also have more affinity so during this time the in affinity is greater so the motion of electron is also very fast as every electron jumps from one protein to another it releases its energy so this is uh, as i mentioned in the whole lecture that the jumping of electron from one protein to another releases its energy so at every protein redox reaction occur now what's redox reaction it is the reaction in which uh, two reaction reduction and oxidation here the reaction in which the loss or gain of electron occur the loss of uh, gain of hydrogen occur in the other uh, laws of gain of oxygen occur so during this time is this complex give electron to the coenzyme before it was reduced is it reduce the energy electron from the nadh so it was reduced then it uh, oxidize by giving its in uh, electron to the coenzyme and this also first they reduce and then oxidize then also uh, uh, reduce by gain electron from the coenzyme and then oxidize and during this time at every step the oxidation and reduction process occur and during this time a lot of atp is released as source of energy so i hope this lecture will be helpful to you and if you have any doubt and a question in this so you can mention in the comment and don't forget forget to subscribe and share my lecture for the next upcoming lectures See you next time.